Hi friends, welcome back. So in this video, I'll be discussing about how we can write a test scenarios for a password functionality. So let us understand what are the various test scenarios which we can write for the password functionality. The first test scenario which you can think of is the minimum and maximum length of the password field. That is the first validation you should verify in any functionality. It can be from any domain. It can be insurance, it can be banking domain or it can be e-commerce domain. This is the basic test scenario which you will be writing is what is the minimum and maximum length of that password field. By normal procedure at least minimum 8 character will be there for password field for all kinds of user in a given application. Maximum can be anything. Again minimum and maximum will be based on your the functional requirements. You can propose as a 8 character but just cross check with your product owner and business analyst based on that you update your test scenario. The second one is all passwords which you enter in the text field it should be encrypted one. When it is going to store into a database the password should be in encrypted way. If I directly go to the database I and if I'm able to see the password in a naked eye, then that password is very dangerous. Because of this, any value which you enter in a password field in the UI element, then the password should get encrypted and get stored into the database. That is the second validation you should make. Then the third test scenario which you should make here is the password should be alphanumeric. It should not have just alpha or numeric. It is a mix of alpha numeric character for a given password field. Then the fourth test scenario for a given password we have to be making a mandatory for the password changing every once in 15 days or 30 days because these days lot of application getting hacked by so many people and it is becomes very vulnerable. It becomes very vulnerable for the user who doesn't change the password more often. It may happen that the application can get hacked if we do not change more frequently our password. Whenever the 15 days or 30 days time period or time interval is over then by default we have to give a screen for the user to change the password. The fifth important scenario is what we have to do here is normally everybody uses the password as test123 or uh, username123 something like that. So we should put a logic or you should validate the test scenarios in such a way that application should not just take the username and followed with some uh, commonly used words. You should avoid those and you should enable your application to be more complex especially for password so that user password is very strong. Because of this, we should talk to developer, you should talk to your BAs, you should talk to your business analyst or you should talk to your product owner and ensure that this kind of validation to be available in a given application. Then next scenario is whenever user type the password in the text box, then that password you should not be able to see in a clear naked eye until if you are not select show password checkbox. Otherwise password should be always masked with star. The next scenario is whenever let's say user tries to log into the application, there are situations that maybe user has not accessed the application for 10 days, 15 days. Because of that user might have forgotten the password. Then every application there should be a mechanism or there should be a way to change the password. In case if the user forgotten the password then we should have a functionality to ask for forgotten password. Whenever user selects that option then then the solution should provide in terms of either sending the password via email or sending the OTP via mobile. Once the user validate with those OTP or email or email link then we should allow that user to change his password 
based on those different mechanisms. The next test scenario is all access details, whoever logs in with the username or password with different IP addresses, everything should be captured for this password functionality. Tomorrow, if somebody wants to validate where this application has been accessed, where password has been hacked, all those details, all those uh, RD trial or log files or trace files should be captured. Next scenario would be, so most of the application these days, they will give the application access with some default password. Then first time whenever we try to log into the application and they make very much mandate for the user to change the password at any cost during the first login attempt so that scenario also you should validate it then the next important uh, test scenario whenever user tries to log in with the incorrect password the maximum we should allow is three attempts only if somebody tries to access the application even more than three times then you should say an error message saying that you are trying to access more than three attempts then the complete access to that user should be blocked for next 24 hours or whatever the recommend says that based on that you have to write the test scenarios first. then the next type of uh, functionality in the password is these days application can be accessed using the web application or it can be mobile application you should have a mechanism both web and mobile application should have a same username and password should be able to log in with the same credential across different way of app so these are the very important uh, test scenario which i can think of for password related functionality i am hoping you guys got a clear idea now if you guys really like this video give a thumbs up to this video if you guys are not subscribed then do subscribe thanks for watching this video Bye for now. Take care.